Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Bottom Right Corner. We got Striker starting as the blue Zerg. Bottom left corner, we got Doodle starting as the red Protoss. This is going to be on Polypoid. I'm almost tempted to leave these colors the way they are, but I just feel like they're faint enough, the gray and the pink, where it would be a little bit hard to distinguish. So we'll stick with the, the blue and the red. Game one, Doodle falling to Striker by taking a, a gambit of trying to skip that Stargate play. And then Striker able to just cat, and that's the thing, I don't think, you can cut corners against a lot of other Zergs. Um, I won't name names, but I know a lot of Zergs where they will not do the due, del uh, the due diligence to check the main to see whether there's opportunity to do damage right there, which honestly was like a big factor of the meta for a long period of time, uh, which is the only reason I even think about or know about it, honestly. Because <laughs> uh, it's so long ago. Uh, I think we are going to see a gateway opener here from Doodle. But Striker, I think also his game sense was just phenomenal last match. He noticed the lack of Zealots and an opportunity to strike. Uh, and I, yeah, I'm not sure I like the Forge opener into the all the skip tech uh, strategy from, there from Doodle. I'm also wondering if it was a mess, uh, if he, uh, if something happened with the build order overall. Anyway, this time he's going to go for a gateway first opener though. We'll see if he can create some chaos out in the map. Uh, Striker scouting up right hand corner first. He's in fact opening with an overpool, which has been very, very popular for Zerg recently in uh, this matchup in particular to deal with this exact sort of problem with that early zealots. Kind of, I feel like it kind of forces more of a normal life. I think it still gets more zealots for Protoss in the early game, presuming that your Zerglings aren't running by and creating havoc for you, which I think most of the time it's, uh, most of the time they're not, depending. Striker, it's possible he could do that, although that's not really his MO. Um, not that he would forego the opportunity, it's just he's not... Crossy will do that, Urban will do that. Uh, Striker is more the guy who's going to sit back and go ahead and macro and keep an eye and see and tack at your zealots if they try to walk out in the field. Overlord's been spotted top right. Doodle recognizes the scouting pattern, so he's going to make an immediate adjustment and save himself a few seconds. Zel he's actually queued up a second zealot, so it knows where to go uh, as it makes its way. And we do have at least four zerglings here that have been produced right off the bat so keep in mind a zealot depending on the damage that's initially absorbed by this probe well okay it's gonna back up initially striker still hasn't gotten his scouting information so he's sending a oh, these are a little bit scattered and this is clever from doodle doodle pocketing that zealot to the six o'clock and he might even be able to okay here's the question does he skip striker's vision all the way around so he recognized he wasn't scouted and is gonna hide and a drone, okay, drone's making its way to this base as well, and now runs into that zealot. So that's gonna delay that third on top of everything else. We do have a Nexus and a Pylon and another zealot there to provide a little bit of guard duty. So nice play there from Doodle, able to get, and that's really gonna slow Striker's economy down in the space of this. Okay, he, uh, did man he did grab gas rather than just trying to go for uh, three hash before gas. And now you got that Zealot with those scattered Zerglings with probe support, forcing out some additional Zerglings on top of everything else and denying mining here at the natural expansion. Although that poor probe <laughs> was like, wait, let me mine the mineral lines and isn't able to make it happen. So Doodle getting a good pocket. Striker uh, uncharacteristically having trouble getting the attack from both ends. And there, unfortunately, the Zealot moving a little bit out of position, opening up the additional fire. But two more Zealots now streaming in. Attacking the hatchery, uh, attacking the hatchery. Striker is going to go ahead and back out and give it a little bit of time, enforcing even more zerglings. So some great disruption here to start. And the zealots finding positioning, cutting off the natural expansion from the main. And with the zerglings actually cutting, uh, just deciding to go out in the field. Doodle's not missing a beat, and it has moved them right out to the front. A forge has been built, a shield battery has been built to support the zealot there at the main with the rest of those zerglings, and Striker's economy getting even further disrupted. Doodle doing a great job in this match. Two more zerglings making their way back. We do have another hatchery being built at the three o'clock location. That natural expansion's still not been saturated. The zerglings trying to flood the main. They're working on that gateway. On top of everything else, the shield battery keeping that zealot alive. Probe's pulling off the line as well. And it looks like the Zealots are going to be able to clean with the, a little bit of probe support and that shield battery going to be able to clean things up there. Another Zealot managed to sneak out to the 3 o'clock, by the way, and harassing there. Striker down to a terrible 10 workers, which is wonderful alliteration. Zergling's still able to sneak through somehow. This is still two Zealots versus the... This is kind of desperation, honestly, for Striker at this stage. Able to at least get a probe kill, which is something, but it's still double the worker count 
at the five minute mark more zerglings flooding in so i think this is going to be all in now from striker trying to dive in get that cannon try to get that gateway unfortunately i think that well is that cannon going to complete the cannon does in fact complete with the probes alongside that gateway could get redropped the second cannon getting dropped actually before that so striker if he could wipe out the zealots wow what a beautiful plug with all those probes though cannon canceled and the rest of those zerglings cleaned up we've got what four more zerglings left and the gateway redropped so striker just trying to get it done with his 10 workers and all in zerglings and he's still losing more zerglings as they're trying to run across the field that cannon is oh it gets taken out and the second cannon getting pecked away at the zerglings honestly doing work is striker going to be able to pull this out Zerglings working on that gateway. That cannon still is a ways from warping back in. It's not covered right there. That might be another gateway cancellation. Zerglings at least able to wipe out a probe. Doodle trying to wait to that last second for the cancellation. Canceling it there. That cannon about two-thirds finished. So he's going to have to wait. And did Striker buy himself more time? Never mind. The Zealot walked out of the three o'clock locations. He walked back into the main of Striker. Striker trying to defend that. But the Zerglings able to get around that cannon once again but a lot of their numbers getting lost in the space of this holy cow striker is keeping this natural expansion just down constantly and i think he recognizes it's zerglings or nothing at this stage because he's continuing to flood that out another cannon getting dropped along that back edge how many workers are out here to the front so we got 10 workers so 14 it's 14 versus 10 right this second and the forge now getting pecked away at finally and a third cannon getting dropped by doodle in the space of this because strikers making it that much of a problem with just zerglings the zerglings try to charge their way in the probes fanning right back out the shield battery doing its job keeping those probes healthy one zealot's been wiped out that leaves only a single zealot but two cannons have finished now on the front i would actually okay we do have another gateway that's finished at the main that might be enough to recover here and, and just finish it out for dude all those striker if he wants to <laughs> If you wanted to move back, okay, more Zerglings make the way out. This actually might be game right here. Okay, so we got another Forge. We got two cannons. That Zergling getting picked away out here. How many Zerglings is this? It's more than a full control group. And the probes, okay, able to wipe out that Zergling in that top corner. Forge is redropped. More Zel a second, okay, some Zelt's gonna be able to rejoin the front finally. But here comes that Zergling flood. And is that Zelt gonna be in time? The Zergling's trying to go all the way around. Those cannons pretty well protected. The probes doing their job one cannon getting hit it's going to get wiped out another zealot making its way out and the zergling count is dwindling we're down to six now five four remaining two trying to run their way back out and the cannon remains another cannon getting dropped another two cannons getting dropped among the space of this thing doodle recognizes if he just holds on he's won this in fact if he just gets a uh if he can get a cybernetics core and a single corsair out that's uh, that's game otherwise are we seeing no it's okay we got one drone out here at the natural expansion now doodles managed to secure this natural expansion more zealots making the way and striker recognizes it that's gg but woo -hoo -hoo, the spicy one for game two striker really making that a fight good game for doodle though hope you guys enjoyed it we are now tied up one one thanks for listening